Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare again, and today I want to show you how to use a tool called Browser Cleaner to remove toolbars, unwanted browser extensions, and startup items from your browser such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. The manual way, as I'll show you a little bit about, will be a little bit more difficult for the average user, and you'll see the value of this tool here. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, here's a screenshot of Browser Cleaner right here. As you can see, you've got Internet Explorer, Firefox, and down below you'd see Chrome. And you can see how we're going to be removing toolbars and extensions. You can clean your browser. You can change your home page and search items and clean up startups. Now here is the home page, browsercleaner.com. I will actually provide this link in the description beneath the video. So once we're on this page, you can either click this download button here or this big one here on their screenshot and download the program. You can either save it to your computer to a location such as the desktop or your downloads folder or you can run it right here. Now I need to give you a few warnings about installing this program. They do have a few potentially unwanted programs that try to install as you install this and all you have to do is decline them. If you feel you like them you can go ahead and just let them install. I suggest you probably don't install them. So watch what we're going to be doing in here. So right now we're at their first page here on the installation screen. So click next. And here's one of them here. They're trying to get you to install this third party program called Minicam. I hate that they do this, but it's such that it is. So I'm clicking decline. Here's another one they want to put in called Mini Downloader. Decline. And that's it. Once you've declined all these extra third-party programs, you can go ahead and finish the installation. Now, they also give the option to set your default home page and search provider to My Start, which is not bad, but uh, if you prefer something else that you've already been using, such as Google or Yahoo.com or something like that, go ahead and just uncheck these. And then click Finish. I'm going to minimize my browser here. And here's the actual program here just as you saw in the screenshot at the beginning. Now I've installed the Google toolbar in my browsers to show you how this works and sometimes you might use this as a preference just to remove toolbars it may or may not be bad or some of them might actually be malicious so you can use this to clean your computer as well as to get rid of toolbars that may slow down your browsing experience. So here I'm going to click Google toolbar Google Toolbar and I'm going to show you this one more time. If you notice I do have my Google Toolbar right here. And then I'm going to click Remove Selected Toolbars and confirm that. In some cases it might prompt you to go to the control panel to actually do the, the final removal which is the best way so it gives you the option to run the control panel. And then you would come down here and look for it inside your programs and features list. And there it is. And click on install. And if you want to provide some reasons why you uninstalled the tool, you can. Or you can just ignore that and close the window. Close that. You can also clean your browser. The next tab over. I suggest that you be careful about checking this box about cleared saved passwords unless you don't care about that otherwise you're gonna have to type them in again the next time you go to a site where you've saved a password in your browser so clean selected browsing items confirm that and this takes a moment to go through the different browsers okay that's done now we'll go to the next tab for the home page and search and as you can see, you can change your search provider or leave it to what it's already at. Over here, you can change your home pages where you can add another one. You'd have to type it in first. Like say you wanted it to be Google, click Add New, and then you can go and remove the other one if you like. And then you've got startup items. Sometimes you might have a long list of uh, unnecessary startup items that you can check and remove so that that can speed your startup. And as you can see also there's some options in here. You can actually go to their home page where we were at earlier. You can go here to run the control panel, change the language. 
Now, I suggest that you don't install new versions automatically, so leave this unchecked. Otherwise, you might end up installing some of those potentially unwanted programs at the beginning. And if you want to check the version of your browser cleaner, you can click the About and see what version that you have. Anyways, that's primarily it. I am going to go back and show you my browser and show you that that Google toolbar is gone. Now, if you were to do this manually, you'd have to go over here to, even if your tools was revealed, you probably have to go to the gear icon here, go to Internet Options. You're going to go over here to Programs, Manage Add-ons, look through a longer list, go to your search providers, go through here, and remove them that way manually, one browser at a time. Then you'd have to go into your Firefox. You'd have to know where to get into that at, like this over here, go into your add-ons, go to your extensions, plugins, and go through this list. And then you'd have to go over to Chrome, and similarly you'd have to get into your settings, and click on extensions, remove the ones that you don't want, and get back into settings, go over here and manage your search engines, you know, remove the ones you don't want and you'd have to get in here to several different locations to change your startup pages and as you can see doing it manually this way is a lot longer and more difficult you have to be a lot more familiar with each browser whereas you could just use browser cleaner and it's all right here in front of you in one screen through these different tabs here anyways that's it I hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for using Computer Aftercare. Thank you, and bye-bye.